Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is get up to the road camp, obviously. But you don't want to go up the left side along the shoreline. You're going to want to go up right side along the villages. Yeah, just uh, stick along the main road in the bushes on the right or left side. And then cross over at the closest village towards the right side of the map right before the hills. Yeah, run up to this truck and lie down beside it. That's what I always do. Lying down is just way easier because it reduces your sway to about nothing and yeah, your shots are a lot more accurate. I'm just showing you that you can go in the night or day because it doesn't really get too dark on this map in my experience. Maybe it does uh, right in the middle of the night at two, three o'clock, but other than that, it's pretty bright. And then we're gonna walk up to the blue wall. Check that box just because you might be able to see them. I came down here because it's a bit easier to get a shot off. Notice how I take my time on every shot just because you don't wanna miss. If you miss and hit them, they'll just start running away. Then it's harder for you in general to take your shot and get your kill. You get this one and then notice how I go back to the front of the compound to check for another rogue. And I'm taking my time again because I don't wanna have him run off. So I got him and I usually leave the other one that's at the front just so it can warn me for other PMCs or maybe kill some, you know, it keeps it a little bit easier. And then what I do is just scan around a little bit. This one's a little bit tricky. And as you can see, I was getting a little bit frustrated as I was doing it. But if you just be patient and stick with it, you'll get the shot off. From here, we move from USEC building one to the right of the door just behind the white truck. After that, you run, jump to shipping container right in front of the white truck. You get behind that and the fuel containers and you can pick off some of the rogues that are walking out of the building. They might not be walking out right away. They might be on the catwalk inside the building. Wait around, they might come out. If not, you can push around as I show you here in a few seconds. But in my next clip, I show you what I usually do. Never go head on with a rogue or double peek an angle like I do here in a few seconds because you die and I did die here. Just wanted to show you that sometimes they won't be out front of that building. You never want to turn your back on a rogue either, but I knew I had a few seconds to get up the hill and behind the barricade before they came out. You see how I missed those two headshots? If I hit them in the head instead of the chest there, they wouldn't have swarmed around like bees. I would have killed them both. They won't push up to the barricade, but I got two taps. Go around the blue fence and go up to the road and use the cement block as cover. When I'm moving up the hill, I always check to see if there's rogues standing right inside because sometimes they'll stand right inside to the left or right of the door where you can't see them looking straight at the building from the cover we were just at. There is a rogue that spawns back right side of this building if you're looking at it from this angle. Sometimes you can see him, sometimes you have to go down a little bit more to see him. So I'm taking my time everywhere I know a rogue has been or could spawn just because they can even spawn when you're not paying attention like you just checked and a few seconds later eating a chocolate bar drinking a soda maybe healing they can spawn anytime so i'm using the ground lying down as it makes it so i hit them almost immediate and i don't have to do all this little peeking and stuff to get my shot in it will save you time in the long run and save you ammo as well this guy was a little bit tricky i hit him a couple times in the chest i'd heard a scab to my right but i didn't really take too much notice about him he didn't sound too close but here the reason why i'm taking such quick shitty shots is because i'm double peeking and triple peeking just right here through this truck you can peek it and he won't shoot at you it's kind of a bit tricky to do not really if you get the right angle right off the bat i hit it first shot a decent amount of times but this one was a bit funky i just wanted to show you that it's not always easy so as i'm showing you these maps i'm just showing you my normal route to get to inside the compound without dying so this is what happens when you hit and miss he runs and it's kind of hard because you either have to hit a moving target or wait for him to get back on the turret. Yes, he will go back on the turret fairly quickly. So just be patient and wait for him to do that. The rogues can also spawn down beside the north rogue building. Well, they might not spawn there. They might have aggroed someone 
so they had pushed out of the building but usually they're either in front of the north rogue building or they're inside of it but just be careful because they can spawn technically anywhere by the north building well thanks for watching everybody that concludes my part two to the rogue farming tutorial but if you liked it or took any value from it i would appreciate a like and subscribe if you could share it out to a friend or someone you know that plays escape from tarkov and is having problems with killing rogues thank you and i hope you have a great day check out my last video on the budget kit i used to run lighthouse it's the part one to the series comment down below on how you liked the video if there's any way you think i could improve my videos but with that i hope you have a great rest of your day thank you for all the support see you again next time right here i was just going up and i forgot the rogue was still on the roof so always make sure you're triple checking the roofs